Hello everybody, we are going to see how to create an order in NCR. First you log in with your username password and then you go to point of sale, tickets, ticket entry. In the customer name we choose the customer then we have an option to choose sales rep if it's a different salesperson for whom you're entering a sales on the item number you have to make sure it's an order it's a blue line and not a green line green line is for the sales blue is for orders and red is for returns if it is not default to blue line, we can change it by selecting more and choose order. On the item, we go, go into item lookup or you can scan it with the barcode. We enter the quantity. Once you finish entering the line items, you hit on complete. You don't need to enter the payment since it's an order. We haven't yet finished picking the items. So we don't need to enter the payment right away. Here you have an option to click pick ticket if you want to print it right away. Or if you want to finish entering more orders, you hit close. You start entering more orders, complete. And once you're all done with entering all the orders, you go to back to point of sale, order management. In order management, you can see all the orders that have been entered manually or have been imported through a tablet. So on this screen, you are on a pick, st you are on a pick stage. In pick stage, you see the orders that are placed and not yet picked. So you click on that order. and you click on pick hit pr yes for the printing ticket it will go to the default printer now that order is moved to the second stage that's called pick verify we need to go to pick verify to start scan out to make sure the items that have been already picked are correct from the order so you select that order and in the item number you start scanning out the items you scan out and you put the quantity of how many items are picked or if you want to do it without scanning you have an option here to select that item manually and enter the picked quantities so if for example this item if it is not 240 we can change it to whatever the quantity was picked if this item was not picked at all and if this item has 600 was correct so you see this quantity column is the quantity that you that the customer ordered this was in the pick ticket that says quantity picked and the quantity to pick verify is the quantity that you are scanning out So you en finish entering all the correct quantities that were picked and then you check mark and click on pick verify. You can enter different notes here. You, you can see what's the order information by going into order information. Once you're ready to, once the item is scanned out, the whole order is scanned out, you check mark that order and you click on pick verify. It will ask you to confirm, say yes. So that order now moves to the packing stage. That the order has been picked, has been verified, and now it re it's ready to be packed. You see this order is grayed out because 
the order is ready to be packed but it cannot be packed since we have not entered the payment so we need to select that item order and click on the deposits and it will ask you to enter the payment since it's a credit sale I will choose AR and hit on pay balance the pay balance will automatically calculate the amount that the customer needs to pay on that ticket you click on pay, pay balance and then you hit save deposits if the customer is paying by cash you can select a different mode of payment here if it's a cash you can select cash it's a US cash you can choose US cash and if it's a credit customer <coughs> sorry we have to choose AR AR pay balance save deposits it will ask you to verify if you are ready to save yes close so now since the ticket has been paid it lets you pack so you click on that order you click packing slip do you want to print packing slip say yes if no then no okay we'll just say yes you can print that packing slip it lets you see the payment was applied to the credit account and there is no new balance on that if you want you can print this packing slip or save it in a folder once you close that window it will move that ticket to the release stage now remember once you let me add that customer name in the columns okay so I select that order which is ready to be released once I release the order it is completed the invoice will be generated at this stage also we can still cancel the order we can make any changes but once you hit release the order is is entered in the system say yes now you can save this final invoice I always prefer saving it as a PDF file. And then printing it out manually. But if you want, we can save it and we can also print it right away by changing the printer in file printer setup and change the fill printer you want to print on. And then you hit the print button and once you say OK it will be printed on the printer that's simple that's how we do the sales I mean to say orders that's how we do orders in NCR counterpoint